The topic of color coding clips in Pro Tools is definitely one of personal taste. However, I've found that if I use no default color coding on the audio clips, it's a lot easier on my eyes, and I'm then able to assign specific colors that correspond to specific jobs I might need to do to various clips. Let me give you an example of what I mean. Let's start by going under the Setup menu, going to Preferences, and change the way color coding is displayed. Right now, I've got default clip color coding set to tracks and MIDI channels. This is where each track gets a separate color. I'm going to turn the default clip color coding to None. When I click the OK button, all of the clips will turn to black and white waveform. This now gives me the ability to call up the color palette window and assign specific colors where needed. Let's say, for example, that this area in this audio clip needs some editing done to it. I could color code it red. Let's also say that this area here needs the same treatment. I'll color code that red. And let's say that just this area here that I'll separate with Command E also needs the same type of work. I'll color code that red. Let's also say that these first two tracks sound great and don't need any work at all. To remember that, I'll color code all the clips on these tracks green. Now, as you can see, it's very easy to glance at the screen and see what shouldn't be touched and what areas need work. This is the way I keep myself sorted when dealing with large Pro Tools sessions. It lets me make visual markers that are quickly understood at first glance.